This video looks at product variants and how to use product templates to manage product variants. Um, this is running in version 6 of OpenERP. I'm going to jump in here and uh, essentially you get to the to the templates area by going into the warehouse module, then go into the product templates under product and when you create a new product template um, obviously you start with putting in a name and um, you'll want to make sure this is multivariance checkbox is checked um, you'll have the same options you'd have with an adding a standard product so um, we can say make this a stockable product um, we can make it to stock and that we don't produce them but buy them put in our standard cost and our sale price. This is an example here. Um, but the part that is important here in the variance is all under this uh, variance tab. So I'm going to jump over to the variance tab. Um, we'll start um, first off by defining dimensions. Um, so I can hit add here to define our dimension types. So we'll start with an example uh, using color. And you can pick whether or not it's a mandatory dimension or not, which we'll, we'll say that this is. Okay, we'll just keep it simple. So we got these four colors. And you'll see now it's added here under the dimension types. We're going to add another dimension on size. So now we got uh, two example color variants um, or dimension types uh, listed here. All right, um, the next step will be to take these uh, available dimension types um, here and add them uh, to be dimension values for this template. So I'm going to click this add all option. And we'll see that our three colors and ah, we got only two sizes, a small and medium. I didn't get my large. Uh, so this will give us a chance here uh, to fix that and see how that would work. So let's go ahead and add in our uh, value for the large size here. And I'll hit add all option again. And you'll notice that it now has corrected and uh, there's the, the six possible variant values of the um, three colors and three sizes. Um, so now we're at the point where we can actually generate the variance. And I'll click this generate update variance. And now you'll see all the possible combinations. So we got blue and small, medium, large, greens and small, medium, large, and red, small, medium, large. So this format of the name, you can see, has uh, the name description. Uh, and then it tacks on the, um, the size and, and the color and the size. If you look here at this variant model name in the middle, this is where we could, if we liked, adjust how the variant model name would look in the description. And then they have a little extra here um, 
uh, under the code generator for deciding um, exactly how it's going to go through and create all these variants. And of course, uh, we have a, a, a separator right here as well. So if we didn't like using the dash, we're just going to do this as an example. Instead, we wanted to use a colon. And now I hit generate update to variants that you'll see between here in the list between the color and the size it's using a colon rather than th than the dash might make it a little easier to read so um, we can right now go for example to the products list and you'll notice that in our products list we've already got all these uh, items created in our inventory. We only had to enter the template one time and uh, set up the variants and then it, it generates the product list for us. If we go over here to product templates again and click back on it, let's go ahead and make a change here to the variants and watch how that'll update the product list. So let's add another couple of colors and maybe another couple of sizes so we'll use yellow which I thought I put in before and we'll do white and black have an error here I don't know really why Let's just make sure it got the changes. Yeah, so we have now six colors and instead of three. And let's add a couple of sizes as well. All right. So now I'm going to go back down and click the add all option. And we'll see that now instead of six dimension values, we've got 11. We can now go over to generate and update the variance. And we hit that button. We'll see that now we have uh, a larger subset here of sizes. Let's jump over to the products list. And we'll see that it's created, uh, for example, for one of these colors like the green, small, medium, large, and extra large. All right. Um, I will show one last example here of the variance of how um, you can go in here and click um, a particular option. Like we can say for the extra large uh, t-shirt for example that we want that to um, to cost extra so we have to go into edit and uh, we're going to go down here and just say that the extra large is going to cost us an extra 20 cents and we're charging an extra 25 and then the um, the extra large we're gonna say is thirty cents, and we'll charge forty. Now we'll do our update variance again, and go look at our product list, and we can see now over here that our list prices are adjusted based upon that change in, in size.